inspection. Senator Dreskowski. Thank you, Madam Chair. I don't have any objection, but um, I have a question, Madam Chair. Maybe it's after this discussion um, and after this action, but um, I was in email conversation with Ms. Pollack about some, I just want to let the committee know something that as we have done conformity and we're doing this bill and maybe get some direction from you or others and the department is here so they can maybe weigh in as well. Um, I had a constituent contact me and um, apparently there's a, a glitch or something, uh, maybe, uh, maybe Ms. Pollack can help me with it, but um, we had COVID uh, related unemployment um, payments that were made to individuals back in 2020. And then in, during, um, for that year, uh, we exempted, uh, I don't know if I'm using the right language here, Ms. Pollack, but we exempted the uh, income tax for those. Uh, and kids, uh, minors, uh, apparently, uh, there was an interpretation at one point that they did not qualify um, for that, or they weren't included in that tax exemption. And there was a lawsuit that occurred in, help me Ms. Pollock, late 2020. Um, and, uh, and, and the lawsuit outcome said, okay, minors, uh, you can get your exemption, but it will be, um, uh, or no, you, um, Ms. Pollock, can you take over? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Senator Driskowski, Ms. Pollock. Uh, Ma Madam Chair, uh, members, uh, the, the issue uh, was uh, there was a provision in the um, ARPA in 20, spring of 2021, I believe, that excluded um, up to $10,500 in unemployment benefits received in 2020. Mm -hmm. um, and I believe it was income sensitive. Um, as Senator Drezkowski mentioned, um, at the time uh, in Minnesota, unemployment insurance was not available to high school students. That was challenged, and in late 2021, uh, a Minnesota Court of Appeals um, uh, issued a ruling that those payments should in fact be allowed to high school students. Um, due to the late, late in the year issuance of that decision, I think it was in December of 2020, those payments were issued um, in 2021 and received by those high school students in 2021. Um, and uh, unemployment insurance is considered um, income in the year that it was received. And so it, having been received in 2021, it was not eligible for that uh, exclusion mm -hmm. um, that we conform to in the, in the 2021 tax bill. Uh, so there are you, you know, any number of, of high school students who would have been affected by this uh, court decision and our conformity to uh, the, the 2021 federal exclusion. There was not a federal exclusion for tax year 2021. So, so the question, thank you, Ms. Senator Pollack. Senator Driskowski. Thank you, Ms. Pollack. So, so Madam Chair, the question is, um, I'm maybe looking for direction from you mm -hmm. and the committee in discovering this, and maybe the department, uh, if they're aware of this, if they have any thoughts on it. It is somewhat technical. Um, as we're looking at a technical bill, but then maybe it's not as well. So that's that's my query. Thank you, Ms. Pollack. Um, thank you, Senator Driskowski and Senator uh, and, and Ms. Pollack. And I'll, I'll ask Ms. Bayers about it. It seems to me that there is an, an equity issue there with, with regard to those high school students. However, I would be concerned um, with putting a correction in this bill um, because there might be a fiscal impact. And I'd be um, more than open uh, to uh, including that in the omnibus bill uh, without, uh, I can't believe I'm saying this, but without having a bill introduced. <coughs> so we could just put it in there um, as a direct as a technical correction on the part of, the, of this committee. Ms. Bears, do you have any comment? Uh, Madam Chair, um, so um, it would be, it would likely have a cost because it wasn't included um, under the conformity piece as uh, Ms. Pollock had stated when the federal um, government did the exclusion of the 10,500. So we would have to take a look at it, but it would likely have a cost. 
Is that clarity enough for you, Senator Skowski? Uh, thank you, Madam Chair. It, yeah, it, it's helpful, and the discussion started, so I'm I'm right. I'm, we, I'm excited, uh, Senator Ruskowski. <laughs> we we won't forget. Okay. Thank you, Madam Chair. Senator Klein. 